It is quite early and I am really tired. I have an afternoon lunch today to catch up with a work friend and then I'm also hosting dinner. So I just woke up a little bit earlier to get some of my work done. Aiming to get at least four hours of active work in today. And I think that's why I like the flexibility of a PhD. I'm always telling people I'm super busy, but I'm very flexible because at the end of the day, I create my own schedule. And as long as I get all of my work done and all of my deadlines met, it doesn't actually matter what time of day I do work. Most PhD students work overtime anyway, so. Also, some research supervisors do care that you clock in at the lab from like nine to five, but with my research supervisor, he's a lot more lax and he doesn't really care as long as we get our work done. Our lab is also clinical and computational. We do a lot of biostats work, so the precedent is that a lot of us work from home anyways. I'm using my Notion this morning just to kind of clock in, use some Pomodoros. I've written down all of my to do so I'm going to lock in for a little bit before I head out for lunch with my friend. right now because I just got last minute summoned to the lab. We're getting sample shipments coming in internationally and they were supposed to come in tomorrow, but they came in early, which I guess is like not a terrible thing, except for the fact that they just came in and there was no warning and I need to go now. I had to last minute cancel my lunch with my friend, which I feel so bad about, but ah, I need to go, I need to go. Before we head into work, I'm going to talk quickly about how I use my iPad to take notes. My split right now between my laptop and my iPad is about 60-40. Some of the accessories that I have invested in include is of course the Apple Pencil. I also have the Logitech Slim Portfolio Keyboard. And then of course the classic paper-like screen protector. In a more research specific context, I like to download a lot of the PDFs that I'm reading into GoodNotes onto my iPads. Let's say I want to deep dive into the results and the discussion section. I really want to look through every single diagram and figure, then I will download that 
onto my iPad and then directly annotate on it. It has been five years since I got my iPad and I have not done a single upgrade to it. My paper-like screen has gone through thick and thin with me. Today's the day. <laughs> I'm gonna change it out. If you have ever written on an iPad on its glass screen, you know how slippery it can get. When I first got my iPad without paper-like, I got a lot of wrist fatigue because it was so slippery to write on glass. The Nano Dots technology really helps to mimic the tactile feel of pencil on real paper. My writing is more precise and I can actually write really long periods of time with it. Especially as a student who studies for 10 plus hours a day, I really believe in investing in tools that help enhance my comfort and my productivity. And also knowing how clumsy I am, I knew I needed a screen protector ASAP. So Paperlike has protected my iPad screen from any scratches and any damages without compromising screen clarity and color. So I'm still enjoying the full specs of my iPad. I'm actually really surprised to hear that some people are concerned about Paperlike wearing down their Apple Pencil tips. After five years of writing on the Paperlike screen, I actually don't have any issues with damages. I think other people who have seen wear and tear on their Apple Pencil tips, it's just a part of writing on an iPad to begin with. Part of the note-taking collection are also these really cute and comfortable pencil grips. I also have the grip to really make sure that I can hold my pencil really comfortably for hours and hours. Even with the grip on, it still supports the magnetic charging and the double tap features of an Apple Pencil without you having to take off the grip or rotate it. And the cleaning kit is just another tool that I love throwing in my bag because it's so compact and really easy to use. It contains an alcohol-free solution that really just helps to clear out all the oils and smudges off of your screen. Actually, speaking of that, I also need to clean my computer screen. Paperlike has supported my student journey since 2020, and there's a reason why I keep going back. I love that their goal is to enhance productivity in students and creators, at the same time keeping a really firm stance about ergonomics and comfort, and then also keeping it accessible for everyone who wants to use it. Make sure to try out the Paperlike note-taking collection, and also let me know how Paperlike has supported you and your productivity so far. And thank you Paperlike for sponsoring this segment of the video. do my makeup, get changed, and get ready for work. Makeup is done. Does it look like I slept for five hours only last night?
Got some really old bananas here, so we're making banana bread. Oh yes, the late night study sesh. Mm -hmm. It's complete. I almost forgot everything needs a little bit of chunky salt. I'm actually really glad that it's so late now because there's very little stopping me from buying vanilla ice cream and milk in the grocery store. I think for now I'll just finish off what I was doing this afternoon, which is just combing through a lot of Excel files and just data sorting. Mm -hmm. 